Welcome to a lesson on place value and whole numbers. The goals of this video are to define counting numbers and whole numbers, determine place value of whole numbers, and then write whole numbers in expanded form. In mathematics, there are different types or sets of numbers. The counting numbers, sometimes called natural numbers, are the set of numbers as we see here, and you can see why they're often called the counting numbers. One, two, three, four, five, and so on, would be the numbers we use to count items. Now whole numbers are the set of counting numbers and zero. So whole numbers are the numbers in the set as we see here, and again the only difference is whole numbers include zero while counting numbers don't. Since our number system is base 10, as we consider larger and larger counting or whole numbers, we have to introduce place value to distinguish between different quantities. For example, if we were counting these items where each square was one, we'd have a total of five, or five in the one's place value, which gives us the number five. However, if we wanted to count the total number of items here, we'd actually start to group them in tens, so we'd have a total of three groups of ten, so we'd have a three in the tens column to represent the thirty, and then a two in the ones column to represent the remaining two items, to represent the number thirty-two a three in the tens column, and a two in the ones column. Now if we wanted to count the number of items we see here, once we counted ten groups of ten, that would represent one hundred items. So here we see ten groups of ten, or one hundred items, and then we have five groups of ten, or fifty, so we have a five in the tens column, and then we have three left in the ones column to represent one hundred fifty-three. Now let's take a look at a more comprehensive place value chart. So as we work our way from left to right using place value, we have the ones, tens, hundreds, thousands, ten thousands, hundred thousands, millions, ten millions, hundred millions, and so on. One more thing when writing large numbers, we separate the millions and the thousands with a comma, and the thousands and hundreds with a comma, to help keep the digits organized. Notice how in the place value chart I did include the decimal to the far right. Because we're not going to have any digits to the right of the decimal, for whole numbers, we normally do not include the decimal point. But the reason I wanted to include it is, the word and is used to represent the decimal point. So we shouldn't use and when we say whole numbers. So this would be 8,302,795. Sometimes you'll hear people say and, like 795, but technically that would not be correct. So if we wanted to practice identifying place values, this three would be in the hundred thousands place value. The two would be in the one thousands or thousands place value. And the nine would be in the tens place value. Let's take a look at one more example of this. Let's go ahead and put the commas in to separate our place values. And starting from the right, we put a comma between every three digits, here and here. So this would be 845,306,917. So this four would be in the 10 millions place value. The five would be in the one millions or millions place value. And the seven would be in the ones place value. Now sometimes you'll be asked to write numbers in expanded form. And writing a number in expanded form is a way to emphasize the place value of each digit. What I mean by that is this five represents 500. This eight represents eight tens or eighty, and this three represents three ones or three. This is called expanded form of 583. So for 12,893, this one represents one ten thousand or ten thousand plus two one thousands or two thousand plus eight would be eight hundred plus this nine represents ninety and the three represents three. For this eight, we have the thousands, millions, and billions. So this would be eight billion plus, now because there's a zero in the hundred millions place value, 
we do not need to include that. So we'll have plus 90 million plus 1 million plus, this would be 100,000. And the next non-zero digit is this three, which represents 30, and then plus two. Okay, the last thing we'll do is take a look at how we write whole numbers in English. We write a whole number in the same way that we say them using correct place value. We separate the number in words by commas the same way we do when we write the number. So for example, here we have 3,000 comma 581. Here we have 10,025. Notice the comma between the 10,000 and the 25. And then here we have 12 million comma 81,000 comma 972. Let's go and try a couple of our own. So we have 150,000 comma 112. Remember, we should not include the word and because the and represents a decimal point. In our last example, here we have the thousands, millions, and billions. So we have 15 billion eighty-five million Two hundred five thousand comma one hundred twenty three. And we're going to go ahead and stop here for this video. I hope you found this helpful.